Welcome to my classroom. I'm Miss Lee. In this video, I shall try to explain the Nernst equation and give some numerical example for our basic ions. Um, what produces the Nernst potential? It is, the it is the difference between the intracellular and extracellular concentrations of an ion that produces the Nernst potential. We have talked about this in the videos about Nernst potentials for sodium, potassium, calcium and chloride. So we can basically say that Nernst potential is a function of the concentration of an ion inside the cell membrane and outside the cell membrane. And the Nernst equation describes this relationship in full. Uh, what does it say? Plus minus, I will concentrate on this later on, RT over FZ multiplied by the logarithm of the ratio of the concentration outside over inside. In some books you are going to see it's inside over outside. So um, this is possible to say both of them because we have a plus minus sign here which I shall explain in this video. So if we can simplify this, R is the gas constant, T is the temperature for de in degrees of Kelvin, F is Faraday constant and Z is valence of the ion and we know that sodium, potassium and chloride it is 1. So if we simplify this and take the logarithm to, to, with base 10 instead of the natural logarithm, we end up with the formula in a more simplified form. So it's plus minus 61 millivolt when you consider the body temperature to be 37 degrees of centigrade and logarithm of uh, concentration outside or inside or inside or outside. This concentrated formula makes use of the plus minus signs here. Actually, to understand it better, we could write the same formula in four different ways. For example, for cations, sodium, potassium and calcium, if you put a plus sign, plus 61 millivolt logarithm base 10 of concentration outside over inside, or you can write the same formula with a minus sign, but this time the logarithm must be for concentration inside over outside. This is for cations. What about anions? If you put concentration outside over inside, then for anions you have to put a minus sign here, or if it is concentration inside or outside, you put a plus sign here. The formula that you see in the books is able to use concentration outside over inside or inside over outside because they place the plus minus sign here and concentrate all these four formula in just one formula. We have seen that the Nernst equation can be used in four different ways for cations, two for cations and two for anions. Now let us give some numeric examples and calculate the Nernst potentials for our four main ions, sodium, potassium, calcium and chloride. Let's start with potassium. Here in these examples I have chosen internal and external concentrations that can be seen in mammalian neurons and I have chosen nice potentials that you most commonly see uh, or read in the books. If we have a look at the potassium, the inner concentration of potassium is higher, it's 140 millimolar. External or outer concentration is 7 millimolar. So if we use the equation in concentration inside over concentration outside way, then it is 140 over 7, which makes 20, the logarithm of which is going to give us 1.3. We know that if we use inside or outside ratio for cations, we have to multiply this with minus 61, times 1.3 is equal to minus 80 millivolts. If we use the concentration ratio in the other way around, we, are, we must get the same result. So if concentration outside is divided to inside, 7 over 140 is about is 
0.05, which gives us a negative logarithm, as usual, for uh, numbers smaller than 1. Minus 1.3 multiplied by plus 61 is going to give us minus 80 millivolt for potassium. Now, let's have a look for sodium. Look at sodium as well. The, we know that the external concentration of sodium is higher. The outer concentration is 145 millimolars, inner concentration is 50. If we use the formula for concentration inside or outside, it's 15 or 145, approximately 0.1, the logarithm of which is minus 1. We multiply this with minus 61 for cations, and the logarithm gives us plus 61 millivolt. We can use the other way around. Concentration outside or inside is 145 over 15, which is approximately 10, the logarithm of which gives us plus 1. We multiply this with plus 61 to find plus 61 millivolt for the nice potential of sodium. So in the previous videos that telling about the nice potential of potassium and sodium, we have found out that and the nice potential for potassium is a minus value, it's a plus value for sodium. But this time we have calculated the numerical values in addition to that. Uh, we can also say that if a cation is higher in concentration in the inside the cell, it's going to have a negative nice potential. If a cation is in higher concentration outside the cell, it is going to have a positive value as Nernst the potential. Let's give numeric examples for the last two ions, calcium and chloride. Calcium uh, is different from the ions in that the outer and inner concentrations are really very different from each other. The extracellular concentration or outer concentration of calcium is 10 to minus 3 molars and inner concentration is 10 to minus 7 molars. There's a 10,000 times difference. So if you apply the formula for inner concentration divided by outer concentration, we get 1 over 10,000, 0 0.001, logarithm of which is minus 4. And if we use Concentration inside or outside for cations, we have to make it minus 61 here. Minus 61 times the logarithm. And whatever we find here, we have to be careful because 61, the value 61 was um, found when we used for sodium, potassium, and chloride valence 1. Calcium has valence 2, so the result must be divided by 2 for calcium, and what we obtain is plus 122 millivolts. We can also use concentration outside over inside, which is 10,000, and the logarithm of that is 4. In this case, it must be plus 61 for cations times 4 divided by the valence of calcium is going to give us exactly the same plus 122 millivolts. So the last ion we are going to talk about is our only anion, chloride. Chloride is in high concentration in the extracellular fluid. So outer concentration is 110 millimolars, inner concentration is 8 millimolars. If we use the formula for concentration inside over outside, it is 8 over 110, 0 0.073, the logarithm of which is minus 1.137 because any number which is smaller than 1 is going to have a negative logarithm. Then the next thing we must be careful is that we are dealing with an anion. If we are dealing with an anion with the internal concentration over the external concentration, we do not put a minus sign like we do for the cations. So it is plus 61 times minus 1.1. 37 is approximately minus 70 millivolts nice potential for chloride in this example. If we use the concentration outside over inside, it's 110, 10 over 8, 13.75, the logarithm of which gives us 1.138. And now we are going to multiply it with a minus 61 for anions. Then 
60, minus 61 times 1.138 is approximately minus 70 millivolts. So we can see here that calcium is a cation with a higher concentration in the extracellular fluid and a cation like this ends up with a positive Nernst potential. But for anions, we can say that if, a cation, if an anion has a higher concentration in the extracellular fluid, then it is going to have a negative value for Nernst potential. So I have tried to give numeric examples for our four ions in this um, video. I hope it has been useful. Thank you for watching.